What's up guys, Janino here and thanks again for watching. This is a little update on my Santa Whoop video. I have uh, correctly flashed the Santa Whoop into acro mode. And thanks to Floder and Cody G from RC Groups to pointing me out in the correct direction. And of course Silver Triple X for its firmware and I've used the not fast enough settings. Thanks for that again. Now in my video I assumed that I would have to flash the BWOOP firmware on the Santa Whoop as the flight controller resembles the flight controller from the BWOOP but that's not the case, it only visually looks the same uh, you can flash the Santa Whoop this is the H67 JJRC model by the way but it's the same for the Ishin E011 but you can flash the Santa Whoop with the regular E011 firmware uh, with some adjusted settings of course and I would like to show you uh, guys how in this video. Now first things first, connecting up the, the flight controller to your PC with the ST-Link programmer. I will put the link to the original uh, E011 flash uh, video that I've done uh, into the description below as well as a reference. So I won't go into detail on connecting up everything and setting up keel etc again. But anyway, I connected up my uh, ST-Link programmer on the front pads here and I didn't solder on the pads below because they were dangerously close to other controllers so I wouldn't uh, I didn't want to risk uh, damaging it and also connecting this up and plugging it back uh, for testing is easier now I didn't have a nice uh, four pin plug to use so I just used these uh, cables and uh, wedged them into the holes and uh, used a clipper just to uh, make them secure there and uh, the other end is connected up to my ST-Link flasher and I flashed it that way now first things first when connecting up this flight controller you will probably get a readout protection error so again use ST-Link to connect your flight controller to the PC as I did on the E011 regular acro flashing but uh, if you get a, dis a readout protection, then at the moment n nothing is hooked up, so I'll get a different error. But anyway, if you get a uh, readout protection error, make sure to select option bytes and you will get a different pop-up here. And make sure that the readout protection level is set to zero and apply that and save it. Uh, after that, some uh, numbers will appear when you connect it up and you're good to go in queue. Now in Q, when you open up the regular project file, the one I've used from not fast enough, uh, you will have to do some uh, adjustments as I said. And around line 134, now the microcontrollers on uh, on the flight on this flight controller are set up differently as on the e regular E011, so some adjustments needed to, to be made to make it work correctly. Now the first thing you will do is swap out these two lines with these two lines. So the one with the SS goes on top and the one with the Mosey goes on the bottom. For reference, I copied it here over. Um, let me see. Paste, yes. And uh, two other adjustments are needed. Now the signal for the back left and the back right motor are also uh, done on this flight controller reversed compared to the regular E011 because of the way the microcontroller layout is on this flight controller I won't go into technicalities I'm just translating everything I learn from the forum so uh, don't ask me why don't ask me how but this is uh, what you will have to do uh, go to line 197 for the back left motor add these symbols to turn this part off and remove these signals symbols excuse me to turn that part on so that's the first motor the second motor is the back right motor and on that one it's the other way around let me see yes PA6 uh, on this one, PA6, the back right, back right motor again, P6, 
PA6 has to be enabled and the PB1 pin has to be disabled and then you're done. Now you can use these settings and uh, flash Acro firmware, the E011 Acro firmware on your Santa Whoop on the H67 or E011 C model and fly Acro. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe and bye bye.